Black and Radio. Broadcasting straight from Osaka, Japan. Exclusive interviews, talk shows, DJ sessions. Check it out. Yes, yes. Welcome back again, once again, to the Black History Month show. This is the third segment of the show. I'm your host, Jaja, and it's going to be the Black it's gonna be the Black History Show yes. here in um, Black and Radio. So, um, stay tuned. So. Yes, and um, the BGM we're having is from Will Downing. And um, so, on this show, we're gonna be talking about not only American history, but also history in general. Mm. You know, we're gonna, because we have so many things to talk about. So, I'm yeah. just gonna, yeah. If <laughs> so, we just have to limit it to like 15 minutes on African history, 15 minutes on um, American history, and 15 minutes on like Caribbean history. and. And the rest would be like how we can be able to, you know, like Black Future Month, how we can be able to use the influences mm. and, um, you know, get something done out there. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go right into it. I want to start with African history. Okay. Yes. And uh, yes, because um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of um, things to say about Africa. But before I went, I, I go into that. I want to introduce my panel. And on my right, I have Tebu. Hey. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Tebuho and I'm from Botswana. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be talking about African history. Uh, African history, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then we have. Jeff. I'm Jeff, Jeff Smith. I'm from New York City, but been in Osaka for 22 years ago this year, yeah. Wow. <laughs> as long as I lived in New York, I've lived here now. <laughs> Hi. Okay, yes, and on my right we have um, Olu. Olu Togun, born in Florida, raised in Richmond, Virginia. My father's from southwest Nigeria, so I'm part Nigerian and part Virginia. Yes. You're like the true definition of African American. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. That's yes. Right. That's and exactly. um I am I am Jaja, also also known as Louis Boston. I'm from Sierra Leone. I was born in Sierra Leone. Um, my father is Ghanaian and my mother is Jamaican. Mm. So yes, um we're here. We're gonna start with African history. You know, you know it's the the cradle of mankind, you know. We all know that that human beings studied, you know. In Africa, right? That's and, right. Um, That's right. True. And there's a lot of, um, it's of course, Japanese. They think like Africa is a, is a country, not a continent. Mm. Okay, so we have to clear that out. Africa is a continent. Okay. Yes, <laughs> with more than fifty countries. Exactly. You know, exactly. fifty-three countries <laughs> to be country. exact. <laughs> and um, not Africa doesn't all, only have the name Africa. We have several types of name for that for Africa. We mm. have like you know, Kush. Ancient names, right? We have Kush. We have Ethiopia. Mm. Africa you used to be the whole continent used to be called Ethiopia at one time. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay? Yeah, it used to be in, in other words. Um, it's an, it's a, Ethiopia is a meaning for like um tan skin, mm. you know. Black, right? Black, yeah, yeah, like the land of the black man. Land of the black man, yeah. Right. So that's that's now it's a, it's a country called Ethiopia, but mm. it used to be and then we have Kush, we have Nubia of course, right, Nubia. you know, mm -hmm. Nubia, Nubia and um, some some say some have the name Abyssinians and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. But um I want to start with um, the the black Jews, <laughs> yeah, the black Jews. Because when you say Jews, you only you know many people only think about Israel, you know yeah. Israel. But there yeah, are Israel. black Jews, mm -hmm. and they were mm -hmm. actually the original, you know, black Jews mm -hmm. back in the days, and they're called them um, Falashas. Mm -hmm. You know, you you know that, right? Yeah, we're starting real deep, <laughs> right. like real deep at the bottom of the right. barrel. Right? <laughs> I, I felt like I felt like we just. Uh, Picked up a, a, jala, a jalapeno yeah. pepper like it. <laughs> I think we might be throwing a lot of people off because, right. you know, mm. at the end of the day, like, people mm. don't know much about um, history. Mm -hmm. And I don't like to call it African history because for me, mm -hmm. it's world history. Mm -hmm. African history is world history. That's yeah, where yeah. everything that started. You know, everything started in Africa, but yeah. there's been so much that's been rewritten and mm -hmm. mistold that mm. I don't know. Yeah. Black Jews. That's just too deep for yeah, some people. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Even even this book, I can recommend people. You know, there is um, there's a book do, um, written by um, by Joseph uh, Ben Jokanan. Yeah, yeah. Joseph Ben Jokanan, and it's called We the Black Jews. Mm. You know, they they actually, you know, they actually, you know, they they, they had a, a, a ancestral line for Menelik the first from the mm, Bible. Mm, mm. And they've been in, you know, in living in, in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. okay. And even right now, they're living in Ethiopia. And there was one time in which there was um, um, a project called Solomon something Solomon that they took them to to the, mm -hmm. the Israel right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So and they were discriminated upon, mm -hmm. and many people don't know about that their history. Mm -hmm. 
and that's why I want a lot of not only Africans but also you know blacks all over the world to know that there are black Jews out there. No, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. You know? And uh, you know that's very important. And and also East Africa, for example, what who are the main in, you know influential people? From East Africa. From East Africa. Like you mean now contemporary no, it, 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 people? Historical historical leaders. Okay, when you say historically, the first people I'm going to think of are recent history, like colonial history. Okay, I yeah, think of yeah, that's, that's Nyerere. It. Okay. I think of, you know, the independence leaders. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Nyerere. Well, he was the f man. He was the first um, independence leader mm. of mm. of uh, Tanzania. Tanzania. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he brought independent, yeah. Mm. Just like um, in Kenya, for example, Kenya, you have Jumyo Kenyatta. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's one of my, my favorite leaders mm. because he, he actually fought the British, you know. Mm. Right. Uh, you know right. And, and on, yes. And on that topic, I mean, uh, we, can, we can clearly refer to Haile Selassie. Yeah. Mm. Haile Selassie uh, again. The, the, yeah. great, the great royal of, of Ethiopian yeah. history. Yeah. Mm. One, one who also fought for not, not only for to keep his his country independent mm -hmm. but also to to stand on the global stage and to speak out from africa and say that exactly, you know we, exactly. we we as not only as africans but as people we can do better yes mm. yes yes so so guys uh, we're not going to be going to into depth into these um you know figures but um you know you can do your own research mm. like olu was saying about um talking about um you know haile selassie mm. right. you know the emperor and he also is like um, they believe he's off from the line mm. of um, king right. david and all right. this and he f to tell you the truth if ethiopia is the only african country in in, in the continent that was, that was never, never colonized, colonized. That's right. colonized. That's it right. was never colonized right. and he fought the british until well he mm. gave up to the italians you know mm. M mussolini kind of mm. like you know mm. right mm. but um you know he influenced a lot of um like black lib liberation mm. you know even bob marley had a song mm. from called war well, that's, yeah? from, his that's, right. Yeah, that's right. from his speech yeah from his speech yeah from his speech, from his speech you know okay. So yes, um, so we have, um, what about, you have any um, like East African figure that um, kind of like, okay, Haile Selassie. Well, yes, yeah, Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie. Would, would you, you know, any, uh, do you have um, any? It depends how far back we want to go. I mean, we could go all the way back to Hannibal. Mm. Hannibal. Um, Hannibal is from North, right? He's from the North, yeah. but he's, mm, you know, it, there. it's very interesting, the pictures, mm -hmm. some pictures they made of Hannibal. And yeah. he was very dark skinned. Yes, yes. He was a um, black man. He was a black man. Yes. He went to Europe and conquered a lot of lands there. He fought the Romans. Yeah, the Romans. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. From so Carthage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. In Carthage. I'm going to talk about that. That's a very <laughs> important point, man. You, you raise a very well, important point. Yeah. yeah. I think there are a whole lot of important points, but you know, you just mm. said to the listeners that go out there and Google and read. Yes, yes, yes. So, but then, like, Han well, like what um, Jeff said, mm. Hannibal is one history that is ne never in a history books. I mean, nothing's yeah. ever in the mm. history books. You only have when you say Hannibal is <laughs> like when it's, uh, it's on the, that nothing, side. Nothing's <laughs> ever in the history books. So yeah. you know, as a listener and someone who doesn't know, mm -hmm. like where would be a good place to start? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where would be a good place to start? Because you know, you don't want to be. I don't know. I think uh, things, because I know I am, and maybe you are very pro learning the history. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you know, when I talk to some of my friends or family members, mm -hmm. I think the things that I tell them sometimes are very overwhelming. Oh, okay. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Right. And yeah. I don't think I learned like that. I right. think I learned at my own pace, little by little. I started, you know, actually, I started learning the colonial history, like really recent history. Yeah, yeah. That's how I started learning, you know, the American, Af African American civil rights struggle, so, yeah, yeah, African yeah. colonial history. We're gonna go, we're gonna go by that. African you know, little yeah. by little. That's how I started learning, and then from there I started getting deep, like Deeper. into stuff that was just astonishing because deep table we were because <laughs> we were taught something else yeah that was you know there's a lot of stuff in our history book that was like really whitewash and you know not i mean it's still, yeah. it's yeah. still we might, yeah. we might we I might we might also it, we might exactly. also mention now mm -hmm. we, might, we might also mention now that a big part of african history was not written in books mm -hmm. right. so the books that we refer to right now in this mm -hmm. conversation are are really recent material mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. so if we really want to know, mm. you know, the, some of the great leaders mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. East Africa, mm -hmm. we need to talk with our relatives. 
Mm. Yeah. We need to sit down, have some coffee, well, have some tea, mm. and listen, <laughs> and listen to <laughs> listen to them tell us about as, as far back as they know. I didn't, exactly, mm. I know that quite sometimes though. You know, right? Yeah, do you yeah. think there's still people who know? I think there are people who, there's, if you go to the village, if you mm. go to the village, they know, they know, they, they know. can mm. sit and talk with you. Mm. You know, if if we go that far, right, yeah. right. And the libraries as as well developed as they are, right. th- that's a, that's a starting point, right? Yeah. And you know, I hate how people always go on about how African history was never written. I'm like, mm. but then even any kind of history, it came from someone's mouth, someone's, yes. you know, yeah. Yeah. Yes. you know, recalling events. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, I don't understand why ours is seen as not authentic because for a long time it was just passed on, you know, through stories. Right. When everyone, ev- history starts like that. And that's, exactly. I think, I think we, we should, yeah, it's true. It's we, should, true. We, should true. Al- we should also point to the fact that music, African music, mm, the, oh the, the, the musical heritage that we celebrate today, a big part of it is... Is, is that it keeps our history. Yes. yes. Yeah, history yeah. is told through yes. song. Mm-hmm. Yes. History is yes, told is. through dance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so I, I thank Jaja That's again for continuing Black Am because mm. yeah. it's a good, really, it's, it's a good yeah. channel for Very people important. to know, to have yeah. meet, to mm. have met some of the griot. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We talk about right. griot, those are, those are some of the people mm. that have kept history exactly. through exactly. sound. Mm. That's, That's true. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's move on to South, um, West Africa. You know, in West mm-hmm. Africa, we cannot go into much depth, but um, there's one thing I like about West Africa that a lot of people know. That you, there's a place called Timbuktu mm. okay. in Mali. Cause Mali. Mali. Yes. Cause the Mali Empire. A lot of people don't know about the Mali Empire. It was really rich, mm-hmm. you know. And when you say King, um, Timbuktu, there you, it was like the, the cradle of um, education at that time, mm. you know. Okay. Mm. And um, you have universities, people come from different you know, areas, from even Europe, from Europe, mm. come to study. In Timbuktu, you know, mm. you know, and um, it was really rich in gold. And even mm. um, in in Mali, mm-hmm. we have um, we can say there was um, a, a, a emperor called uh, Mansa King, Musa. Mansa Musa, exactly. He was the richest man. And even now, you're talking about uh, Warren Buffett, or <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you calculate that guy's wealth that time up, you know, in this in this age, it would be like almost four hundred billion. Mm. Mansa Musa. The richest man that's ever lived in the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. 400 you know? billion. And nobody knows, billion. right? No. Nobody knows about that. Just check, check it out, man. Musa. And, you know, people should know about the Timbuktu, that, 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 that era, you know? Mm. Well, they have to because the funny thing is Timbuktu mm. is used a lot of times in English as an idiom for saying, like, if you're going somewhere that mm. you don't know where you're going. Mm, you're going to Timbuktu. You're going to Timbuktu. You're going to Timbuktu. Well, you know, you know. You're going to Timbuktu. To yeah. get all that stuff. Because the thing is, it was it was actually created in the, in the, in the middle, middle of, of the desert. desert. Yeah. And back then, yeah, no yeah. navigation, nothing. You were just yeah. going that's, on a pil- Maybe that's that's how the, that's the how narration worked came out. Right. Thank yeah. you. I, I always <laughs> thought it, was, it meant like somewhere. Nobody knew where they were going. So it's like, isn't that Yeah, but I'm sure they didn't know where they were going. That's a good example, though, of how a place as special as Timbuktu, it became... You know, a reference for something that was not not really mm. positive in our language, in our daily right. language. Mm. I think that's just one example mm. of of how that's happened in, in so many instances. And yeah, yeah. I think we, as as people that know that now, we can try and teach the youth mm-hmm. that listen. If you've heard that, or if you haven't heard mm. it, you may hear it, mm. and this is what it this means. Is this is the means. place exactly. where it is. Yeah, just so yeah. they have a reference point, a, a better reference point. Exactly. I, yeah. I, th- I thank you for bringing up that point, man, because yeah. that's, that's happened time and time again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, as a community, we use words mm-hmm. yeah. that got kinda, you right, know, right. twisted around and right. somewhere. Yes. In the yeah. history. Right, yeah. right, and it's not by right. coincidence. Yeah, uh, that's a willful thing, you know. Okay, and the other thing I want to talk about that people should know about is the Gold Coast, Ghana. Okay. Oh, you know, you have the Ashanti gold. You know, Ghana was mm. also very rich. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. very rich yes. in gold. Mm. You call it the Gold Coast. Mm. A lot of people so come here. To, you know, come here. They think it's Australia, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's another, there's uh, another there's Gold Coast. Another Gold Coast. In, you know, in in, in right. Africa, there's a Gold Coast. Really? Right. <laughs> Can I invite? No, no, right. different place. Where, man. Well, that's what it was oh, called exactly. before. It was called Ghana. Ghana. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was the name of the place. You know, mm-hmm. and um, you have a lot, of, a lot of gold was there, but. The thing I like about Ghana, you have this um, figure called um, Kwame Nkuma. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's my man. That's your man. Cool. That's my guy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. And my father even named me before that that guy. Uh. <laughs> my middle name is Kwame. Right, right. Yeah. Right, 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 Kwame Nkuma, right. everyone should he know was, him. Right. Let's yeah. recall yeah. some great men. Uh. <laughs> there we go. I, I had to put a little music in there, man. We, <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> talk, we're talking a whole lot, man. Can we, can we put a little sound in there, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, you, got yeah. you. We've been fighting for our rights. You know the song? I know the song, 
Yeah, it's, you know, guys, if you have some time, you just Google or search on Kwame Nkrumah. Right. He That's he right. was the guy who brought out this Pan African or this mm. idea of uniting Africa. That's right. He was the yeah. first guy right. who said, "Let yes. Africa unite." You know, yeah, and you know, there's a book he wrote, um, neo Colon. Colonization, colonialism, mm -hmm. right? And when that book was published, I think in 1965 or 75, mm -hmm. one of those years, um, this was after Ghana was independent, and I guess they had a good relationship with America and Europe. But once he published that book, um, just talking about the new colonization of Africa, yes, now we are free. Mm -hmm. But economically, we are not. And, you know, this book was very well researched because he was an economist, you know, by mm. profession. Yeah, yeah. And he wrote this book, you know, in detail, very well researched, talking about how certain corporations are owning African, African yeah, yeah. resources That's and right. how we're still colonizing. No, he was violently against colonialism. When that colonial book stuff. was published, mm -hmm. the Americans shut him out. He was not allowed to travel. Right. Mm. He Yes, yes. They, they even uh, locked him Ghana, up. You know? Ghana lost aid, and that was, like, I guess, the demise of this man that they loved. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, yeah. So that has to tell you something. Yeah, yeah. He he actually brought Ghana to independence, and he worked with people like Marcus Garvey. Yes. Mm. He yes. worked with people like even uh, Martin Luther King. Mm. All these great leaders to put, you know, to mm. get the the Af you know black man li liberation and civil rights people, you know, thing. Well, I mean, Nkrumah is like one of the you know really black. I would say Black History 101 for kids. Everyone yes. should yes. know who should he is. Know yes. Because yeah. he started a lot of it. I yeah, agree. exactly. And um, yeah, he is the beginning of it. Where if people really want to know where a lot yes. of the ideas, ideas even from mm. great black leaders in America, mm. they definitely read his mm. Yeah, yeah. They all met yeah. Kwame And they all respected him. They right? all respected him. Yes. Okay, yeah. So um, time is moving forward so fast. Let's take, check out South Africa. You know, you, you, you lived in <laughs> South Africa yes, a while, yes. right? Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. South so, Africa is like my second home. Okay. Right so tell us about, uh, like, really, of course, Mandela of, comes to mind. We all know Mandela, right? But another point I wanted to make about Nguruma is mm -hmm. um, when it comes to our leaders, I feel like because we don't speak much about our history and mm. everything is in the hands of outsiders, mm -hmm. or, you know, they... Mm -hmm. They, the ones with they the power everything. to make certain people popular. I feel like they make the MLKs popular, the Mandelas popular. You know, mm. not to take anything away from what they did, but mm, mm. Right. the men like Nkuruma, yeah. who were actually fighting, you know, another fight. Like, we want economic yeah. freedom, yeah. which I think is something we... We ought with, to know. Which yeah. is a fight we haven't fought yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. the, you know, to our, the to best the, of our ability exactly, yet. Exactly, that's true. Um... They never ever mention them. I mean, how can the world not know about Kwame Nkrumah? Yeah, it's because yeah. men like that were threatening. Men like Malcolm X, who you know taught us to be proud. Yeah, and you know that selfish. as a as a black man, it's okay for you to protect your family. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to hear. That's how yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, they don't want to yeah, hear that's, that. That's true. That's true. You know, so guys, you know, check out Kwame Nkrumah. You know, it's, it's have it's, to so have to. Yeah, so coming to South Africa, yeah. you know, on my point, Steve Biko for me. Oh, mm -hmm. Biko, Biko yeah. for me is you know he's i love mandela yes of course but i love um mrs mandela okay okay well, yeah. i'm a huge the fan woman of mrs. Mandela. Power. Okay. we all love her all south africans yeah, yeah, love yeah, her yeah. well all i mean we all know that behind every great man is mm, a great yeah, a good woman a good yeah, woman. woman that's mm. that's clear so Always. they fought that fight together her mm -hmm. more than him i think mm. yeah yeah what can we as black people learn from mandela you know i'm, I'm okay olu what what can you say you learn I from mandela really just just persistence mm. yep yeah patience mm. i mean to have been patience. to have been behind bars patience. to have to have thought about what he would do after coming out That's mm. right. to have i mean to have really exercised that much patience and persistence mm. yeah, yeah and yeah. over over such a span of time mm. yeah That's right. and in the face of such you know an entity as as it was the, yeah. the british yeah, yeah as they were and so i mean it, they would, i mean there's so many lessons we can take from you know mandela's standing but um i i agree with they both that the, even you know Stephen Biko, we we should make mention of yes. Stephen My Biko. Goodness, mm -hmm. right? yes. uh, I mean, even if we go back a little further, we should we should also make some mention of Zulu, Saka Zulu. Right. Saka Zulu. Of course. You, know. Uh, uh, you know his 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 Shaka. his yeah. strategy in yes. yes. the military, yeah. the, ex the, ex yes. the exercise of intelligence yeah. Yeah. that he yeah. he expressed he, during yeah. those military mm. exactly. exercises. Yeah. Man, I mean, I think you know you know Shaka Zulu mm. is another war they kind of like twisted it around, just like the the, the Timbuktu <laughs> thing, right? Mm. Yes, you know to make him to make it just make it savage Sa mm. savage you know but you come if you're looking shaka zulu <laughs> 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 
But if you if if you if you read about because Shaka Zulu <laughs> have that that militant spirit, yes. and it's from it's from that a lot of these these um, black liberation leaders mm. get their inspiration from. That's right. 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 Because Shaka, Shaka Zulu was there and he fought the the the, the, British, the white guys who came in to take with their land with guns. With guns, yeah. Yes. He learned how to learn, learn how to use that thing, and he he protected his people. Awesome. For a long, right. long right. time. Right. And here again, if I might talk about music, w- what we see happening around the world as far as like African musical traditions being toured, taken around the world and, and, and shown on stage. Mm-hmm. So much of what we see, even if we talk about Zulu dance or if mm-hmm. we talk about Guinean mm-hmm. traditional dance, a lot of that is expressed. It expresses the, the militant mm-hmm. culture of those, yeah. of those communities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. if we see a Zulu dance on stage, that's really a reference to... Mm-hmm. The stance, the mm. power of that Zulu military mm. yeah, that spirit. organization at yeah, that yeah. time. Mm. Right. Exactly, that's true. That's true, man. Mm. Yeah, you know. So, um, guys, you know, get some more research on Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. It's not only um, you know, some some thing you can laugh at and say, oh yeah, well, Shaka Zulu this and that. You know, he was a real, real militant, and he fought a, for his a people. brilliant strategist. Exactly, right. and many, many military from the British. Um, they had adopted some of his. Yeah, tactics. Tactics, yeah. Cool. That's true. They adopted everything. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, on, on, on the basis of Africa, let's say um, the last um, topic I want to talk about is North Africa. You talk about cartage, mm-hmm. right? And, um, you know, when, when you talk about cartage, it's uh, just remind me, there was one question I wanted. To, there's this question I've, 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 told, I've asked a couple of my friends before, mm-hmm. and I always get into a fight. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know? Really? And the question is, what is the meaning of Africa? Or where did Africa come uh, from? Right, 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 you mean right, the, right. Word? the word? The word. Uh, Wasn't it a Portuguese name? The way I understand it. I don't I've, I've, heard, really a couple, I've heard a couple of references. But right. ahead, ahead. Yeah, the thing Dutch. is because there was one time I used to do African art, mm. you know, back in the days. And um, I was painting an African, pa- you know, a portrait. And then I just, this thing just came to my head. And it's like, okay, the Japanese have their meaning of their, you know, like Japan, you know, mm. Nihon, mm. The, the land of the rising sun, mm. you know. Mm. And most of these countries, they have their mean. Mm. But we as a people, that is our core identity, you know. Mm. Where the, the name com- Africa came from? Right. Mm. What's the etymology behind well, it, you know? Well, I can, I can give one reference. Mm-hmm. One is that if we look at Latin, mm. sort of the, what the Latin expression is, a land without cold. So Africa, free, mm. um, that F-R-I mm-hmm. part. My, my understanding is that it, it refers to cold. Mm. Okay. Frigid Africa would, would then mean... In other words, like a lot... With, without, hot, without, without cold. cold. Mm. Mm. A hot so line. A, a very blanket statement, a, bl- a very general you know, reference to a land that was, mm. at that time, they knew as a place that was mm. not cold. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think it's also important to mention here that many, many Africans didn't use the word... Africa, mm. if we go back mm-hmm. far into history, never, right? You know, for for, the, for their own countries, it was mm. more reference to what they knew mm. regionally. Mm. So, go ahead, go ahead. So, I, I mean, Africa as as a as a word that we use today, I think it came in, into being in much more recent history. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but the question is is still a very good question. What 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 is the, the root of it? Uh, That's yeah. my understanding. Is that is from Latin, mm. and it means uh, a, a land with right. without cold. Mm. Wow. There may, there may be some other references there. I'm sure there are, but some mm. other theories. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, because way back, that, this was like 10 years ago, you know. It would be I, surprising, actually, though. Yeah. When I searched on it, because that time the internet was young, you know. Not <laughs> 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 yeah, so the internet was young, right, you know. Right, 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 <laughs> it shows how quick time is, <laughs> exactly. timing technology. And, and the thing I heard, the thing <laughs> I learned from, because I also read about this thing you were talking about, right, you know, right. Africa, the cold mm. thing, and, mm-hmm. and there were some other... But the thing that was actually strong in my mind was, you know, this, the, the North Africa, before li- the name Libya came out, mm. it was Cartage ca- mm-hmm. at that time, you know. Mm-hmm. That's where Hannibal was, you know. Mm. That, all those places where, like, black black people mm-hmm. were living there, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And um, um, Cartage was so, you know, industrious and so wealthy. Right. The Romans, you know, started to attack. It was the Greek first, the right? Greek, the, the Greek, Greek and the Romans, yeah. So they started to attack Cartage. And they failed a couple of times, and then one time they were able to burn the whole damn place down. Mm. Okay, and the general who led that army was sp- uh, like Scorpio Africus, mm. oh, wow. and he named his place the conquered land. He gave it his Africa. name. 
Which mm. sounds like what the yeah. Romans would do. Huh? Exactly. Giving one of their names to you a know? place. Mm. So I was thinking, you know, mm. of course the name Africa is, is important, you know, mm. like all of us is our identity, but we also have to ha- embrace was like Nubia. Nubia is like black kings, mm. you know, <laughs> like Ethiopians. Mm. We're Ethiopians. Right. E- when we say like tan skin, it's not like mm. like gold, you know, mm-hmm. like even the, the queen of Sheba say I'm black mm. and I'm comely. Mm. He's Ethiopian, you know. <laughs> so they're using these words, their identity in a positive way. Mm. Yes, of course. You know, so Africa, although it's, you know, people ad- identify us as Africans, mm. but we also have to say, okay, well, I'm African. I'm also Nub- Nubians. Mm. I'm also, I'm a Kushite, mm. you know. Mm, you know, Louis, another thing, right, with um, being from Africa and, you know, looking at the continent as a whole, we think we have no relation mm-hmm. to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you're saying, oh, I'm Nubian because I'm thinking, oh, but, you know, I'm from Botswana. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, that's the ignorance. But people, yeah, 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 but people don't get it. They don't people get it. People don't yeah. get it. You know, actually, when I first went to America, Mm -hmm. I used to tell my American friends all Mm -hmm. the time that, oh, you know, we're not related. We couldn't be because I'm from the South (laughs) and your people came from the West. You know, and this is maybe Mm -hmm. 10 years ago Mm -hmm. when, you know, I knew nothing, honestly. And as I started to learn, actually, I started to learn about the um, immigration of Africans within the continent Mm -hmm. and how we moved from the North Mm -hmm. to the West and you know from the west people move to the east and to the south i'm like you know we're and when you look at our languages actually southern african people and languages called bantu people bantu mm-hmm. languages bantu, yeah. are in the east and the west i'm like oh wow. you know now i'm swallowing my words say yeah, that yeah, to my wow. african-american yeah, yeah. friends because we all came from the same, same place yeah, yeah. Yeah, we so all came it, from it's, the it's same a good place. thing to be able to know. Oh well, these guys are like they call themselves Ethiopians over mm. there, but so I'm not, you know, I'm not. Mm, actually, mm, mm. We all we, we need to like search the names and you know, mm. especially these like Kush. Kush is in the Bible, you yes. know. Yes, yes, yes. You know? yes. And you know, even the the like like uh, uh, Ethiopians, Ethiopians mm. are in the Bible. You know, there's that's a, long a good point because we we don't really see a reference of Africa in the Bible. If we look yeah, at one, if we exactly. look at one historic reference, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the Bible itself, we mm. don't see the word Africa mm. really in there mm. yeah so yeah. Um, but I think Africa the, the, the one one importance that the word Africa has now is that it's a unifying factor mm. and mm. that someone from Botswana yeah. someone from Morocco can mm-hmm. all refer to him or herself mm. as an African mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so it's, it's a unifying factor in that way so it, ha- it carries uh, I think a, a positive right. yeah, nuance yeah. as well no one's mad at that word yeah, right yeah. as much as you know people think Africa is a country and it might kind of piss you off sometimes i mean for me i think i'm an african first mm-hmm. before i'm a Motswana. yeah okay yeah, yeah. that's oh, right. yeah, yeah i have no problem with that but i just i think i make that point just to let people know that you know africa is big and we can't i can't speak about africa but mm. i could tell you about where yeah, i'm where you, from yeah exactly because exactly. people just use it as a blanket like oh africans uh, this and this Africans do that I'm like mm, well I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I can tell yeah, you yeah, what yeah, yeah. you know okay. we're like <laughs> yeah we, we almost spent 20 years okay let's oh, lastly let's awesome. talk about let's talk about e- Egypt yes Egypt last, lastly and then we'll close up about Africa so Egypt okay um, this is to me I, I you know the cradle of civil, civilization mm. you know civilization started in Egypt religion started in, in Egypt so many things were invented you do even the Every, week everything everything, was everything, exactly. everything, you know? everything. science math astrology Every, everything, everything medicine medicine everything, everything. Was, you know? and the, the, the saddest thing is a lot of black people don't associate themselves with Egypt because all of those fails from from two tank from all of from from uh, uh, all of those fails were blacks mm. they were black of course mm. Now it's like when you say Egypt, you think about an Arab land. Yes. You know, Arab came here yes. like came. They, they went there. They they, they invaded yeah. there thousand five hundred years ago. Yes, right yes. about that. Mm-hmm. We're talking about three thousand years history That's when right. black kings were ruling Egypt. Mm-hmm. The name of Egypt was Kemet, mm-hmm. meaning black land. Mm-hmm. That was the original name of Egypt. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, you look at the statues; it's right. obvious the noses. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. and everywhere you go, you know? everywhere you go, though, <laughs> when you see those statues, every country you go to, um, even in Asia, like what is it? Like um, the Middle East, what's called the Middle East now? Mm-hmm. That part, mm-hmm. all the statues, all the Egyptian statues, noses all knocked off. I'm like, ah. Oh. Well, they, 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 uh, you uh, know, uh, like it's those, those things were done Diop by wrote about those that. were the, the Islamic in, invaders that. did that. Right. When yes. the, the Islam, mm-hmm. it's when so Napoleon obvious apparently. though. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes, so it's, it's it's sad though, but the thing is, we have to dig deep and know, you know, yes, <laughs> the historical thing of 
One of my mm. South African friends just went to Egypt on a company trip. And, you know, mm. she sent me pictures mm -hmm. in front of the pyramids. I'm like, you better enjoy that. Our ancestors built those. <laughs> <laughs> and, you exactly. know, I'm always, and she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you think, you know, Arabs yeah. have been in Egypt forever. You think the Arabs <laughs> built that? I'm like, shit, there were people blacker than you and I. Exactly. Who built yeah, those. Yeah, exactly. And she's Blick. like, really? Really? <laughs> A I'm lot like, of you see, this is the, th the this thing. is stuff that we don't know. Exactly, you know, mm. you know. First, I will advise anybody to start with the, the civilization of Egypt. <laughs> Egypt is right. where everything right. started out, right. and then, you know, it really stands as a as a good, a clear marker as to what language was, for example, before the, the English alphabet. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, it stands it stands as a clear marker as, as many things, but mm. as you said, it, it really reflects. The intelligence, the, the, mm. the level of intelligence and organization mm. at that period of time. Yeah, Something yeah. that we don't really see so much of in Africa right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah. I think that's, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good reminder of, of so many things. But mm. at least, at least mm. those two things. There was language. There was civilization. Mm -hmm. There was community. There was beauty. Mm -hmm. care, there was self-care and so mm -hmm. on. Before mm -hmm. we could talk about any of the, of the, mm. the modern entities that we have mm. now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, you know that's um, that's let's round up African history. So next, let's let's talk about African American history. You well, know? I was gonna say because we we got on Egypt and it just was, it, it was getting me thinking <laughs> while everyone's talking. Right. I'm trying not to laugh because I just said, man, and they got those movies like you know and it went, with uh, with Moses and all that, right. and the Ten Commandments <laughs> with yeah, Yul yeah. Brenner, who I always thought Yul Brenner was cool, you know, yeah, yeah. his shiny head, but, <laughs> you know, and like Moses will not leave Egypt. And I, I just, man, he's cool, but I don't think they look like that then in right. Charles no, no, They were all right, black guys. Right, right. Charles yeah. Nesson said, let my even people the, go. Even the Pharaohs, Ramesses, and all his people were black. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, they yeah. got Yul Brenner, where I guess they thought if he got in the sun a bit, he could be close to <laughs> that, that new movie by Ridley yes, Scott. Yes, yes. You know mm. what I'm saying? And, and, and he said, he Isn't came out Exodus? and said he was not going to put... Exodus, right? Yeah, I, you know, he made me so irritated. I I watched almost all the movies he's made. Mm. And that movie made me so mad what he said <laughs> about not wanting to use black people in the movie. Because of marketing. Now, see, I just said, Psh, see, no, I'm not going to watch it. So I just blanked out I, I the never, whole this, movie title. Every I get you. I get <laughs> you. You get mad just blank I totally, it all out. I totally get you. You know... I get mad too at stuff like that. But then I think, you know, if we want to tell you know our version of history right we can't expect someone else to do it that's true for that's us really, really so true. i don't that's even true. get mad that's at really that i'm like you know the colonizers ha did a good job you know everyone's going to do that for their kids they did a good job at creating a narrative for their offspring that's, that's what they did that's true you know it might have been sneaky wrong whatever but you know they did that for their kids and it's time we did something for our kids right. and stop looking at them to no matter how Show small us the way we and start all this shit. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. and i think um, mm. Mm. It's, it's a good opportunity for me to say that this year yes. i hope you all will join a one day or half day film festival that i'm trying to put together in the later part of this year mm. focusing on african directors producers mm. nice wow. that's and, great and actors right trying on. to do that right here in amemura so Whoa. probably about three films three to four films mm. but this Please look out for that. Beautiful. You're gonna beautiful. have a red carpet and all that. People. Uh, <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might do that. I might. I might ask my guests to come in tuxedos. If that, if that, I mean, <laughs> more traditional wear, mm. yeah. whichever you like. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah, whichever yeah. you prefer. That's I'd good. come and just smile in front of the, again on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about American history. Um, this before we talk about like the Martin Luther Kings mm. and the Malcolm mm. X and you know Rosa Parks and all. Go back, back, back. Let's mm. talk about. Um, there's um, a story called. There's even a movie on that called mm -hmm. Amistad. Have you ever yeah, seen? Amistad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amistad. Yeah. Um, there is one. The, the the character in that movie is called Sinke. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sinke is actually from Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he was captured as a slave, went over there, and then he revolted. And what actually made his name stick is because he won a legal battle That's right. in the American mm -hmm. system, and he became a freeman. Mm -hmm. That was one of the you know the incidents or the episodes that actually started sparked out the civil rights mm. that if a black man a slave can be able to win a court mm. case mm. we can be able to do something right 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 and I, and I might say here that i would say to all my friends and family back in the states learn some spanish claro que mm. sí. don't don't look at claro. any any language that's not english as something that's not to be dealt with mm. learn some spanish why do i say that because mm. Amistad is itself is from Latin. Yeah. It's, it's a word that, that right? means yes. yeah, basically, basically. 
Can you imagine a slave ship called, you know, named French? Well, they had, hor- <laughs> right. but they had <laughs> horrific names for so many of those ships that that had the exact opposite meaning. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, so many of them exactly. had beautiful yeah. names. Yeah. So yeah. I would just yeah. say again to friends and family: learn yeah. some language, learn some Latin, learn some Spanish, yes. learn some Japanese, That's learn right. some Chinese. Yeah. 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 Get get way. into the language so you can you know look back into history if mm. if we need to pick up books. If not. Mm-hmm. Learn some songs. No. Yeah. Learn some songs and some dances because that's where the history exactly. is. Exactly. That's you know, if, if, it, if it's to be told, mm. right? It is very true. I agree. Very. Okay, um, I want to. Um, I have a question for um, Jeff. Yes. So we have like um, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They were fighting for the same goal. Or the oh, same yes, they were. And, but they have a different perspective in of how course. they went about it. So, what do you think about that? Well, I love them both. I, I really. I was blessed in my childhood because mm. where I grew up in, in New York City, in Queens. My my parents, well, my dad originally from South Carolina, mm. grew up in Harlem. Mm. My mom from Harlem. So it was very, my, I can say my house is very black. Um, mm. But I grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood. So mm. the thing was, and my town was, sad to say, extremely racist. Mm. So there were things that people would say in class, mm. you know, mm. about black people, um, misinformation. Mm-hmm. And so my mom had us reading since we were mm. very small mm. um, on black history. Mm. So I grew up with it the whole time. And, and what was very difficult was that there were a lot of black kids who didn't know. And from a young age, I, I saw that in elementary school. You know, we mm. were told to always everything my mom has said. And mom, I love you because my mom has always said <laughs> everything that you were told in school, you go home and read it. Mm-hmm. And you had to check every single thing especially when when black people where black people were concerned mm. yeah, that yeah. there would be some other story mm. to how we but came you had up. a mom that knew though yes yeah. most yeah. people don't which is very yeah. very yeah. most of very us different. and i'm gonna say me too most of us don't mm. 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 well i think i think it's, it's it's a good it's a it's a very timely comment for us to you know speak about malcolm speak about martin luther That's right and 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 respect and honor what they did in our communities at the times that they did Mm -hmm. but let's also give a reference to all the single mothers Mm -hmm. who are holding it down right now Mm -hmm. from coast to coast from chicago to houston Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot a lot my sisters at at times were single my mother's Mm -hmm. been single for 30 plus years Mm -hmm. so just to just to give a shout out to the mothers the black mothers on the american side of the water who are doing a lot right now Mm -hmm. to keep us you know informed mm. yeah you know yeah, up yeah. up up to date and so on and so it's very uh, important I, but I, I like your question because it does lead us into who who are the people that stood up and said something for the black community yeah, in in, yeah. in in the americas and give up their life for it yes and, well, well yes. yes i mean they were and the, and the thing that the uh you know the conviction behind it mm-hmm. and i mean being you know african-american which is older and myself it, it it's it's one of those places where either and this is me saying this personally i feel you're either on one side of the fence or the other there is mm. no in their minds mm-hmm. why i loved malcolm x and mm. dr martin luther king's because there was no other side right. for them to take right yeah. they yeah. knew yeah. saying what they did most likely they would die malcolm x's autobiography he writes it specifically he mm, knew he'd be killed mm. yeah and he yeah. knew he'd be vilified mm. yeah um for everything that he said by mm. you know mm. the white media in the united states mm. he knew that whenever you're you're black Mm. in america speaking up and just being black in general speaking mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. for black people you will mm-hmm. be vilified made mm-hmm. into a villain for that mm-hmm. you know as and being yeah. insane mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dr martin luther king because no one could match him in eloquence no one mm-hmm. could match him in his broad mm-hmm. knowledge of mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. most of the people who would try to criticize him he was more academically you know he achieved. knew more things than they did he was yeah, more yeah, achieved yeah, yeah. you know and and so many people they'll belittle him and and let's be honest this is part of the racism right mm. here where you know always it's about uplifting but the thing is dr martin luther king mm. he had a phd yeah yeah in theology and he was well versed in many different things mm. and the fact that so many people will cut that part off yeah um it's to, it, and they'll only talk about the I have a dream speech that he made. Mm-hmm. He made so many memorable speeches. Yeah, exactly. Read the book, Why We Can't Wait. Mm-hmm. Everything, every great person has actually explained everything that he or she was planning to do mm-hmm. before they even did it in a book. Yep, yep. And yep. he explained everything, the everything, disease yeah. that is America in that book. Why yeah. We Can't Wait? Yes, Why We Can't Wait. Okay, yeah. I, I think now's a good time also to, to say to my friends and family again, 
Uh, <laughs> travel. Get a, get a passport. To. Get a Amen passport and that. travel out of the country at least Amen. once, Amen. like like Malcolm X did. That's yeah, right. He, yeah. he went out of the country and came back with, with, with a different interpretation of Completely. things. Completely. Those so are the people travel who people. change, um, you know, the environment around them. I think it was Kwame Nkuruma who mm. said, you know, he who noted that a lot of the independence leaders or even just the musicians mm -hmm. who left and came back, they came back different. Those are the people that change, that change the their environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yes, there's a lot of leaders, you know, we can, you know, because of time, we couldn't go through. But, um, yeah, let's move on to the next segment, which is the Caribbean history. Right. You know? mm. And um, because we have African so history. Many. There's so many, you know. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, I have the Caribbean blood in me, also the African blood. <laughs> and, you know, so um, we can be crazy sometimes. But, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but there's one, when you talk about Caribbean history, especially like Jamaican history, mm. one individual that came into my mind that actually even inspired me, even when I was, you know, is... Marcus Garvey, of course, mm. you know, of course, because he was uh, a giant, mm. you know. He, no one remember old no Marcus, Marcus Garvey. Garvey. <laughs> no one <laughs> remember old <laughs> Marcus Garvey. <laughs> no one, no one. That's something that people. I love your voice, yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but it's no, but it's something. There are yeah. people who don't yeah. know who he is. Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing is because mm -hmm. he he was yes. he championed the Pan African. He mm -hmm. went to America and mm -hmm. actually the black opened, star line, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. the black star liner. He opened the eyes of the civil mm -hmm. leaders in America. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. he was working closely with He's Malcolm X, you know, um, 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 Dr. King, and all these people. He was he was so influ influential in America. They jailed him there for like for no reason. Oh well, you didn't pay your tax. We're gonna right, right. You know, well, they, had to they, had to exactly. they had to get him for something. They had to get him. They had to get him. But he he actually he went to Africa. He met with Kwame Nkuma. He w he met with um um even Haile Selassie, mm. all to get Africa united. Mm. He was like, let's go to Africa and build. Mm. Let's go to Africa and build our land. He was. He went to Africa. He talked with uh, Kwame. Uh, most, most, even Junior, Jumo Konya, Kenyatta. Mm. He went to Kenya. Mm. He said, "I want you guys to keep some land for people who are coming mm. from America." Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna build the ships. Mm. That's, That's why right. he built. The sh he built. He he was actually building ships mm. to transport black That's people right. from. Called the Black Star Liners. That's right. You know. That's why even the the flag of Ghana had a black star mm. in the middle. Right. 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 right, that's that's because of the black star line. Right. So Marcos Gavi, you know, he did a tremendous, mm. um, you know, contribution. Nice. I would say to to black liberation, mm. Pan Africanism, and mm. he's huge. I mean, yeah. you know, the fact that most deaf and um, you know, Talib Kweli, mm. then when they were together, they called themselves Black, black Star. star. Right. Yeah, I mean, right. they, exactly. They, they, they're for that. You know, right. yeah. and black Americans, I can say African Americans. I know people say that now, and I still say black American. Um, but you know. Marcus Garvey, if you were very much into black history, everyone knew Marcus Garvey. Yeah. I didn't know he was Jamaican. And I found yeah, out yeah, he was, when he I was, was like in elementary school. Like, what? He's like, he's like Bob Marley. Yeah. Said, yeah. Wow. Be it's because of <laughs> if there was no Marcus Garvey, there would be no reggae oh. music. Yeah, there'd be no Bob. He he was the guy who said, just Jamaicans, you don't don't look forward to the white man to educate you. Look back to Africa for the crown mm. of a black king. Mm. And that right, name right, that that right. That line mm. echoed in many Jamaicans. Right. And, and when Haile Selassie there. was crowned exactly. king, they say, yeah, exactly. this is the man. Exactly and then, boom, we the music started out. This is where that's we right. get the Rastafari. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's right. So that's without right. Marcos Gavi, it wouldn't be like skanking to know Ega music right now. <laughs> 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 right, right. For real. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, right. So he's the man, man. You know, so everybody, if you have some time, check out Marcos Gavi. He's the man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Other Caribbean um, heroes like Toussaint L'Overture. Mm. Of Haiti, yes, mm. yes, yes. who yeah, yeah. fought in the French army yeah. for a very long time yes. um, for the liberation of Haiti. Mm -hmm. um, another place that has been completely yes. black, yeah, and yeah. he fought for a very long time. Yeah, and yeah. Um, to Saint Louverture, I can't pronounce it in the French pronunciation. <laughs> well, but I, I understood, you. I understood you, brother. Thank you, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Black Island, we got it all going on. I'm all trying to understand. We all understand. Yes, Look indeed. up to Saint you know, Louverture. <laughs> Cool, Look up cool. to St. Louisville. You know, Very because uh, it's figure. almost going on. It's almost time now. But let, let's round up. Yeah, You're let's kicking us out. Let's round <laughs> up with what we can. We we had we had we all inspired by, by these black leaders. Of yes. course. So yeah. what can we as you know blacks living in Japan do to bring the black you know We're blacks together? You We're know, blessed. What's, There's so much we can do. Well, yeah. Jaja, I will I will first say, man. I mean, mm. let me let me let me be the first one to say, mm. or well, maybe not this evening, but the first one in this conversation <laughs> to say. Thank you, man. Thank you for having Black Ann. Mm. 
<laughs> what, man, what, what you're doing right now Thank is you. the right answer on. to your question. Thanks, man. Right this, this is the answer to your question, man. Right yeah. you, you putting this together today Amen. and Amen. Having, having different programs here at Black End, Amen. like African Horizon. I thank you personally again for that. Amen. Uh, it's just what you're doing right now is, is the answer, man. Thank and you, so uh, if, if we do more of this, mm. if we really build on this platform yeah, yeah, yeah. positively, mm -hmm. you know, keep, keep the, the nonsense out, you know, out, <laughs> out of these walls. <laughs> you know, exactly. if, if, we really, if we really come together... <laughs> <laughs> like we're doing today mm. and yeah. really try to follow through with what it is that <laughs> Jaja started here at Black That's and right. I think we, we can really answer exactly, that question. Exactly, exactly. Mm. You know, one one thing leads to another, you know? Yeah. yeah Always definitely. Because um, what, what I learned from these black leaders and what I can, you know, advise, uh, one is, I, I had like three points here, you know, we need to, co you know, work together. We mm. have to. Cooperation, you know, we just as Olo said, let's keep the, the BS aside, you yeah, know? of course. Let's, let's engage, mm. you know? Mm. They might be, oh man, I don't like this guy's way of thinking or that. Right, Forget need, about that. We need let's look, let's see the bigger picture out there. Right, right. right. Instead of, you know, that's mm. that's that's one I mean thing. really it's ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question. Where else can you go in this area, not have to pay an entrance fee? <laughs> 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 sit down and drink drink a beer. You, meet some people open. that you want to meet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And talk about something constructive. Mm. Mm. If you go to the club, it's not happening. You mm. pay. Can't and you're not anything. really talking about much. If you go to the bar, <laughs> you pay. <laughs> And you're probably still not talking right. about much. Most so to, to have a place to come to, man, for, yeah. for, for people of color, <laughs> all the way here in Seaside, <laughs> man, I, I mean, I'm, and not let me, let me get say it. Out right, let me say it. You know, not hear some you know, cops. You know, and, you I know, mean, really, because I mean, to, to, to come here and, and have the opportunity to, to break some bread, man, and just chill yeah, and talk, yeah, yeah. this is very important. Thank so you, man. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, but I would man. also say another thing that black people can do in Japan is volunteer. Mm -hmm. yep, if you yep. volunteer in Japan, what you get to do is you get to meet people that are very much like the people that you grew up that's with. True, that's yes. People who have a lot of needs. Mm. That's true. And so I would say even if it's once a month, mm -hmm. find yourself a spot to volunteer. It could be the Kansai Food Bank. It could be uh, a, a senior center. Find yourself some time. It's, it's refreshing for you. To not have to think about work and this and that. Just sit food, down food. with somebody exactly. and volunteer that's for an hour, a month. Do yeah. something that, that you know, that's, connects that's with the community. That's one thing. You look at all the other races. They can sit down and do something without even asking for a penny. That's true. You know? Because they ain't it's hungry. True. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> you, you have really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you have really hungry guys out there. The thing, what I, my my point is, my <laughs> Dude, well, you know, like you hunger, hunger isn't at the moment. <laughs> well, I mean, to, to volunteer, I think it brings you close to that hunger again. Yeah, exactly, that's what it's saying. You know, it brings you real close to yeah. that 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 feeling. Because you, you're not saying, okay, well, you know, to want I'm, to need because I'm hungry, I'm not gonna do something there that. It's not bringing me money. It can bring you a little, whole lot of money later on. Mm. You know? Sure enough. Yeah, and that's not just that's not just black people though. That's everyone. People but want in things instantly. But they don't that see is more acute. It's more you know you can see that more within the black community. Jaja knows because you know. I, I've, minute, I've, I've, I've been minutes, I've been through that road many times, say, man. Yo, man what, yo, we ain't getting paid. But you, why? Why you made me come down? The nah. thing is, we, <laughs> we we need we need <laughs> the thing is we need to stop. Uh, ex, uh, you know, expecting instant gratification. Mm. You know, right. we need to mm. say, okay, well, if mm. I don't do this, I don't get paid. Right, I'm not doing right, it. Right, <laughs> right, you know, right. that mentality is, is screwed up. Right. And again, we, you know? we can bring it, the point back to Black End. Black End is, is a volunteer-based mm. organization, as it is. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. do explore opportunities to, mm. to bring, you know, commercial reality in, mm. into this space, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a volunteer operation. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I'll say myself, I'm glad to have the opportunity to volunteer here yeah, and yeah. to talk about African music and Concept society, yourself, yeah, you exactly. know, exactly. Here's That's here's one place to start yeah. for black people. Jeff, volunteer Jeff, here. Say? Oh, why? Well, well, thank you. I I get a final say. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Hold on, let me clear that throat. Now nah, the only thing I want to say again, it, it's what Olu put down because really, thank you, mm, Jaja. Thank you. I've known you a long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> so what can I say? It's always about being positive. Thank and one you, thing about the Bill, black community Bill. in Osaka, there's just so much we can do. We're blessed. We're all blessed. The fact that we're all sitting here, like Olu said, you know, well said, my brother, because yeah. it's true. It's true. The it's fact true. that we are here already is educating. Yeah. And the exactly. fact that we can see people on the street and the sun hits us, and you know, our skin look good. Hey. So um, hey. people see that sun hit us uh. and they see our aura right. and our, our positive energy. That's right. how we teach. Right. Right. Exactly. Just right. every little right. word to tell mm. people 
No yeah. black people are not like this. Mm. No yeah. Africa is not like this. Mm. Yeah. Every day without getting mad, but mm-hmm. keeping it positive, which Jaja, you've always done with your station. Mm. Thank you, man. Because Thank you. Respect. Be big up, big up to Black Air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hong Kong. <laughs> Thank you. Olu, you have a lesson. <laughs> you have something to close up? Um... Well, for I think firstly, for mm. blacks in Osaka, I would say let's get together more. more. Like more, we were more. saying, you know, in the other room before we came in here. We, like there's so many of us, but we don't know each other. Nope. Mm-hmm. We don't know each other. And I think we need to get together more often and see what we can do. See what we can all get into. Yeah, exactly. Together, Maybe go out on a date ideas. or something. You know, there's, there's some single brothers and single sisters right? in town. <laughs> exactly. That I think would enjoy a date. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe have a date. I mean, let me, we, all, hey, we all grown, right? We all right, over 30. Out, go out for exactly, dinner. Talk exactly. about yeah. Marcus Gavi. That's what I'm looking for. Right? <laughs> That's the kind of date okay. I'm looking for. Well, you, got, you got your date sitting at the table like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's me all day. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys, you know, thanks so much. I want to thank you, Tebu, Jeff, and Nolo for coming over. Thank and, you, know, It was a wonderful thank show. You. Right on. You know, and um, you, guys, you know, I want to thank the listeners for listening. And we have the last segment coming up, which is Black Business in, in, in Japan. So stay tuned for that. Nice. So, um, so I'll be seeing you next Time. Much yes. Love. Peace. Thanks, Jaja. Peace. That was fun. It went by too fast. <laughs> I, I knew it would. You got. You got these four people.